So stepping out of what is uh, what we call the finery. The vinery, okay. And you sometimes have a hammock up, don't you, at the end? Yeah, we have a lovely big um, Colombian hammock, which uh, a friend of ours gave us, and we put that up there. Is it actually from uh, Colombia? It is from Colombia. Yeah, he was a, a, a colleague fro who lived, who is Colombian, who went home to visit his family. Oh, right. And then came back and gave me gave us the hammock. In what way do uh, Colombian hammocks differ from, well, say, European hammocks? <laughs> I just in the way cheap. they look, no, they don't they don't differ at all. But just, the the story goes that there is a village, a isolated village somewhere in Colombia, which me, is exclusively a hammock making village. So you go down the high street to every shop along the road is a hammock selling shop. I've heard oh, that's, that's where he got it. It's quite a laid back place. <laughs> oh, yeah, so all right. Santa something or other. Yeah. Santa Hamaca, maybe. Santa re Recline? <laughs> I don't know. Dave, you normally let's like my change the subject. You normally like my puns, Jim. <laughs> I thought that was quite good. What are these over here? Daylilies. Daylilies. Yep. These ones these these ones. These ones here. I think I got a picture of those actually on I've been doing some tweets as well about today, which from is at rich underscore W. Well, the daylilies are from the great Duncan Skeen's garden. Oh, excellent. He knows his stuff, doesn't he? He knows his daylilies. Okay. There's no doubt about that. And now, here's a, here's a question I've always yes. had. Am I allowed to ask this? Yes. How did you get the spacing on the uh, on that wood? So that it... No, over there on the... So that the fan look fan on looks fan. Yeah. Did you, did you just measure it out across the top? I measured it out across the top. Yeah. yeah. And just, just spaced each piece evenly. Yeah. It's very clever. <laughs> Very clever. I thought you were going to ask me how did I get the spacing on the hit and miss fencing, which was which is much cleverer, because I made little wooden spaces, and I nailed one one plank on, then put the spaces on top, and nailed the other plank on, and I thought that was very clever. And it is very clever, and it's very even all the way, because it's a very long garden, isn't it, you have here? It is. How many narrow. feet and metres and stuff? It's 170 feet. Wow. And 14 foot wide. Blimey. So, um, but the other uh, an ad advantage, an ad advantageous feature of this, in this fencing is that you grow lots of stuff up it, so you've got a fig tree here and a, and a plum tree there and apple trees on this side, and um, it gives you levels to your garden rather than just all on the horizontal plane, and it's a windbreak. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh.